of Beyond Books. My name is Christina Salvatore and I will be your host today. I have a very special guest with us, collection specialist Betty Lang here at the library and she is going to talk about some wonderful genealogy information and some resources that we offer at the library and an upcoming program. Welcome Betty. Thank you for joining you. me today. I know it's cold out there so thank you for bearing the weather and speaking <laughs> with me today. Well I'm glad you're having me because I think we have a lot of information on genealogy here in the library, but people don't know about it. So I'd like to talk about that today because there are people in the community who are very interested in genealogy. Either they're already working on it or they want to, but they don't know how to do it. Yeah. So we have about six genealogy programs a year. In fact, on Thursday, March 6th, we have Jan Zaleski who is going to do um, Introduction to Polish Genealogy. That is easier to do if you know the village that your people came from. But if you don't, it makes it a little harder. So Jan will go ahead and tell us the basic searches, and then if that doesn't work, some kind of little known strategies to maybe help us with that. That sounds like a really informative program for everyone. I know mm -hmm. I'm really interested in genealogy and um, anxious to hear about all the resources the library has that we offer. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's a lot of genealogy magazines on our website. Right. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, we have three genealogy uh, magazines here in the library. <coughs> the first one is called Family Tree. And what that does is give you basic tools and information regarding working on something, whether it's easy or if you need more help. Um, the other one is called Family Chronicles, and it does more case histories in addition to giving you the other information that I mentioned. The last one is called Internet Genealogy. This is more advanced genealogy. Not only does it do case histories and give you information, uh, about genealogy, but it does reviews on uh, software and technology as well. So if you're getting into computers and so forth with genealogy, this is a good one to use. So if I was um, interested in doing some research about my ancestors and um, dated far back, what um, would the first magazine, the family, family, family uh, tree would probably be the one to That'd get That'd be started. the starter to yes, use. A little simpler, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool, that's great. I'm really interested in this. I know the library offers a lot of great resources and collections mm -hmm. regarding it, um, and also databases we offer. Right. And there's um, a new one, Fold3, Fold right? Three, okay. Right. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we have three databases. I'm gonna start first with Ancestry Library Edition because I wanna really emphasize that you can only use that in the library. It can't be used at home. Oh, okay. The other two, Heritage Quest and Fold3, you can use at home, but you need your library card handy because you will be asked for it. Okay. Um, Ancestry.com has an immense amount of information, and if you're kind of afraid of it or don't know how to get started, there are some video tutorials connected with it that you can just click on. That's also true of Heritage Quest, and in Fold 3, they focus mainly on military records. And it really is a wonderful database. I saw, uh, um, I was at a webinar the other day for training, and it is so, so much there that if you go to their home page and go up into the upper right corner where it says help, that's where their video tutorials are. You it's really, a step-by-step -step process for yeah. anyone viewing the website, okay. Yeah, you really need to use those because there's so much information. You don't want to get bogged down and say, I'm never doing that again. You want an easy tutorial. Right. It sounds like that Fold3 offers that. Yeah, and so in order to get to this, go to our website, which is www.novilibrary.org. Go to Online Tools, and from there, go to People and Genealogy and these will open right up for oh, you. Good. The tutorials are right underneath. Very nice, that sounds easy for our patrons to access, mm -hmm. so that's great. And um, another thing I wanna to touch on is our local history room, mm -hmm. because there is just so, so much information and artifacts in the right. room that I think um, our viewers would love, especially mm -hmm. um, the new art that was added right. in June. Our local history room is located on the second floor, and in June, the Novi Historical Commission paid an artist to etch the windows in the room, and on these windows are historical sites still here in Novi. That is so cool. It is beautiful yeah. to see. 
Um, on the first and third mm -hmm. Mondays of each month, the Historical Commission has a member holding an open house in that room. And what they do is they're there available either for somebody doing research if they need help, or if anyone just wants to browse the room, see what's there, see how to use it. That's what they're there for. Now, those office hours are not during the summer. Okay. So I was just going to ask, is it during the summer as well? Yeah. No, not during the summer. But any time if these particular hours don't fit your schedule, you can call the library at 248-349-0720, ask to make an appointment, and a librarian will spend that time with you on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah, that's great. I, I encourage everyone to go in there and check it out, especially the beautiful artwork um, that Ryan and Mindy Trainer did. Right. Um, it's a wonderful room, so mm -hmm. I really encourage everyone to go there and see the artifacts and learn more about Novi. Mm -hmm. So right. that's great. Anything else you want to add? No, or? I just want to ask everybody to really make use of these great aids that we yeah. have because you can sit and think about it and not do anything or you can come in and take the baby steps and get started. Yeah, it sounds like there's step-by-step -step tutorial for all of it. So that's mm -hmm. great for right. our patrons and viewers. So wonderful. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. And for um, we'll chat soon. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching Beyond Books.